Uh, welcome back. So I uh, thought I reviewed everything from Skydance, but apparently not the Mosquito Hawk. Uh, it's an Amber Ale, multi, balanced, smooth, 5.9%. Did not see a date on the can. I got it in a single. I didn't get it in a, in a four pack or six pack or whatever it comes in, so I don't know the date on it. It's cold. Oh man, it's apparently old. Well, hell. This probably ain't gonna go too well since it blew up. All right, so uh, one second. All right, so it's gone down a little bit. It doesn't smell like metallic or anything like that so that's good it's really cold so it's kind of hard to smell very very light roast kind of a dusty earthy uh, dirty malty kind of a smell it kind of has a copper penny kind of a, a note to it like if you rub copper little earthy notes like i said cheers oh it's actually pretty good oh man i got beer on my hoodie that sucks hopefully it doesn't stain it if it stains it Jake, I'm getting a hold of you. You're paying for my my wash fee. Oh, it's actually pretty decent. I like it. Um, I can't wait till they open up across from Parlor. Like literally, you're gonna be able to start up at Vanessa House, drink there, walk a block and a half, two blocks this way, go drink at Prairie, walk across the block to Skydance. And if you want to, go to Parlor, get you a pizza, get you a sandwich, or get you a hot dog, whatever they got over there, because, you know, they, they change it up all the time. Barbecue. And if you want to, finish off at the bar. Right next to the bar is the bathroom. Go up Chuck. Go walk right back up to Vanessa House. Start all over again. Screw it. And the Skydance glass I got from Jake. Ugh. Easy drink, uh, it's pretty light. A um, little roasty malt note uh, with a little bit of a earthy uh, hop, hop, pleasant, uh, hop presence. I've had a couple of beers already. Uh, a little hop presence, a um, little dusty dryness. Not really too bitter for me. Easy drink. If this is old, I like it. It's good still. <laughs> I don't know why it would have exploded. It came straight from the fridge to in here. I didn't shake it up. Boy, it is f***ing cold. Jesus. I've had amber ales that are a lot stronger in the flavor. This is kind of like a sessionable kind of a, a note going on. But once again, it's it blew up, so I don't know if it's an old beer or not. Um, like I said, I got it in a single. And either it goes to the single rack because it was past its prime, or because someone asked to get a single of it. So I don't know how this was. I think there was like three or four left on the shelf. So more than likely, it was a single because it was old. So, that's no fault to them. It's no way of looking at it to see if it's old or not. I mean, I can't see anything floating in it. I, nothing separated that I could tell. Doesn't smell strange or taste strange. Uh, it's an amber ale and having that kind of coppery note, I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be or not. I like it. Um, I'm just going to have to taste it at the brewery to see if it's, you know, supposed to be this light. It's not terribly light, like undrinkable. Like uh, I'd rather just have water light, but it's very, very slight roasty notes and the, the, the earthy hop and a little metallic, uh, like a copper. I don't see no problem with it, so I'm gonna go ahead and say nine. If it's bad, it's good. <laughs> Whatever. If it's old, it's good. All right, we'll be seeing you.